Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Code with Sunny. And in this video, we will be talking about the problems of bi weekly contest 72. That is, you can see over here, it is still running. Okay, so the very first problem is count equal and divisible pairs in an array. Okay, so yeah, the very first problem would be an easy problem, and we need to implement what is being asked over here. Okay, so given us zero indexed integer array nums and of, uh, like it is of length n and an integer key and we need to return the number of pairs i comma g where i should be strictly less than j and both are within the bounds of the array and the values at these respective indexes must be same and the product i into j is divisible by k okay so you can see uh, if you look over the constraints uh, like maximum length of the array is 100 so you can have a o of n square times solution to pass all the test cases uh, that is what we are going to do okay so i have taken answer as zero and i is will we start from the nums dot size and j is going to start from i plus one up to the end of the array and if the values at these positions are equal and the product you can see the product of their indices is uh, divisible by k then we need to increment our answer by one Okay, so uh, you can write all these in efficient way like you know you have to write an efficient and an understandable code. So like n should store nums dot size and your current answer will be zero that is a count of pairs will be zero. Okay and uh, you will you will iterate from the beginning of this array and since i should be strictly less than j you will start j with i plus 1 and j should be less than n and j plus plus according to the problem statement you can see if nums of i and nums of j are equal then only you can do so you what you are going to write is if nums of i exactly matches with nums of j then you will come in this if else condition let's find out the product is actually i into g so if product is divisible by k that is the remainder that we are going to get then we will increment the count of pairs by one okay that is count of pairs plus plus and what we need to return is the number of pairs which is our answer so return count of pairs so the time complexity of this entire solution is uh, let me write down time complexity o of n square what about the space complexity space complexity is nothing but a o of n uh, whether it is o of n or o of 1 o of 1 because i have taken only extra variable to find out the answer okay so yeah you can do that if so if you guys have still any doubts you can reach out to us in the comment section of the video and thank you for watching this video